love you, man. I love you. Come on, what Man, Did I man, it up? Now y'all got to feel me in now, right? Yeah, man. Alright, man. I'm uh take a back seat, you know, one stop shop podcast today, man. These niggas, you know. Huh. They they about to let these niggas go off. Uh, <laughs> but uh yeah, man, go ahead and do what you wanna do, man. We talking about the Drake and Kendrick. <laughs> Lamar, rap beef, man. Man, this nigga called me last night, bro, with so much enthusiasm, bro. Talking about. Bro, Drake drop, blah, 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 blah. I listened to it. It was cool. I was about to call this nigga back. Yeah. And Kendrick dropped, bro. Hey, that nigga dropped like minutes after. Like, it's almost like he was waiting was for tough. Drake to motherfucking drop. And then he dropped his shit. And he knew what it was gonna be called because now his shit, Drake drop Family Matters. This nigga dropped Meet the Grams. Like you can't, you can't make this shit up, bro. Well, we are in great historical times, rap beef wise, and uh, you know, these niggas is heavyweight hitters for real, and I appreciate it. You know, it's good for the game. Yes, this is good for uh, yeah, for hip hop as far as well. It might not be good for some people's careers. Starting to weed some motherfuckers out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know. Uh, the, the 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 goat argument is very is very close coming to an end. Yeah, yeah. What what now? Say, man, you know, I don't. Hey, we gotta. Everything's gotta work out for how it work out, man. I don't really know how it's gonna go. You know, both. Both parties could be lying on about certain things, I believe. That's true. That that could be. That could I'd be. be lying sometimes. But I mean, who do you think is lying the most? I I'd, I'd say Drake, because like I, I, I feel like it's fifty fifty. Because uh, it's fifty fifty. It's fifty fifty. I genuinely feel like Kendrick. It's telling the truth, cause what do you gain? You gotta take Thanos out, so you gotta like, really. That's the guess. What he gain from him though? Like he not Drake ain't hindering him from performing. In his mind, he just don't like that Drake is at the top. I could tell. You could tell from the lyrics. He, I feel like what most like people's that. problem is with him, especially a lot of uh, black. It's you portraying <laughs> how, I'm just like, the blacks. a certain lifestyle that we actually had to go through. It like the hood and shit. Yeah, yeah, and you making money from it and living good That's off of the shit true. that we was set back on. This is a thousand percent true. That's why he can't but say nigga no more. The only way, the only reason why I, I could backtrack on that a little bit is he not really, really a hood rapper or nothing. He actually don't rap that often. So don't, don't, don't talk to me. On no gangster shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know. I think when he be saying gangster shit and his raps for real, I think he just be saying stuff. He just, just be faking. He just faking it. I say stuff about shooting all the time when I freestyle. Right. I get it. I, I get it. That's cool. It. But this is this is this is what I think. This is where Kendrick is coming from. It's cool for you to be like faking, flogging your shit. Not faking and flogging your shit, but like Future has came out and said that he don't really do all the drugs that they do. You know what I'm saying? He just be saying that to you. Know what I'm saying? And I ain't like that. For for the lifestyle. Like, that's, like, that's cool. I don't do drugs. But like, for you to be a mixed man, you have white. It's mixed. And for you to not identify for real with any type of blackness other than when you are rapping. That's the only time you are affiliating yourself with the with your proximity to blackness, and you still not using your platform of like you the you the most famous nigga on the planet at this point, and you not using your platform to speak on any black issues. Now you can't say nigga no more because like it's just like you're not black. You're not black. Hey, you know you using the community without giving like helping the community. That could be seen as that he definitely you know got a lot of money and. We're gonna probably see a lot of more philanthropy from him. Why? But why now? Now, if if you do it now, motherfuckers gonna be like they they gonna be like push a T force this nigga to be a father. 
and Kendrick forced this nigga to be a father twice. We're going to get on that. And he has they for- a little white in him. And they forced this nigga to actually care about the black side of his family. Like, yeah, like, that's like, that's an L, bro. I'm no, because not- listen, he like basically like Michael Jordan. Just keep getting more successful and not giving back. Wait, Michael, Michael Jordan don't give a fuck that. about black people. He'll watch you get beat up and step over you. But Michael Jordan ain't God. did Michael Jordan pro use his blackness as any way in any way to bolster his 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 in his status in any way. Nigga, you didn't look at Michael Jordan like the nigga. He was just the fucking nigga playing basketball. Oh, he was just no, somebody he playing basketball. Just, he's more than just he He that wasn't a, he wasn't doing no activism. Like he wasn't damn near like Michael Jackson. What the when fuck are you talking about, like, though? I'm saying he, he, he didn't do or the fact he, he avoided be being black at all costs. Exactly. So he ain't he, he, he didn't don't he didn't need to motherfucking. What, gonna, what are you talking he about? He compares to LeBron because when people bring up uh, philanthropy and shit, LeBron actually real life on everything I love since it came in this NBA, he tried his hardest to help black people. He legitimately saved black people. Before he do some real big Angel, shit, Michael and he's Jordan, Jordan don't give a fuck. That's who he was. He's not faking nothing. So, if he didn't fuck with niggas, he just didn't fuck with niggas. And it was prevalent. Don't. It was. It was. It was evident. We seen I it. I hate that shit about that nigga. I, I get it. That's we fine. Like that, but, but the thing with Drake is he, he playing both sides. Exactly. He do play me. And that's not cool, bro. Like and then if you if you gonna play what's both sides, it's, it's, it's a name for it. The actor. Per- person. <laughs> nah, <laughs> what's the person that can pick up shit? From other things, a uh, culture vulture. No, nigga, it's a you know what I'm talking about. Like what, he picking up different skit. Yeah, it's a word though. I forgot what the fuck is called. It's called an eye. Ah, that's it. Ain't even gonna try it, bro. I'm sorry. I'm drunk, so I probably won't be able to get that for yeah, you. Try and get on your I level. See what, I see where you getting at. Yeah, but mm, that's I guess that's the first. I never looked at. I never looked at him to want. I never wanted him to do nothing. I mean, I did. Yeah, like. I do want him but to do stuff, pop. but keep it pop. Yeah. Then. Keep it pop. True. If you want to be on that type of time, I shouldn't hear nothing about. Oh, I know this. Who can do this? Yeah. We don't want to hear you say, "Nigga, no more." It's nigga a lot in that recent this because of that. <laughs> that first, the first like, nigga had like, some fucking strength to. He said, "Nigga, you know, I'm back in my man." <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, look, he was, I don't know if he because he beat We don't love. give a fuck about funny, bro. I, I love humor. So exactly, bro. We don't give no fuck about jokes. funny, now bro. He's, now it's no more jokes. Yeah, yeah. Now it's no more jokes. After, it should never been no jokes. No, he that was after he already we, dropped the disc. Bro. Look, bro. So of course, what's that nigga name? He know he million million dollar worth of game. Wallow was talking about some. Uh, yeah, crazy. Gilly was talking about some. Uh, what would he say? He was like, hey, yo, that Kendrick shit, that shit was disrespectful. I like it. Now, look, what is this? The, a diss record. That's what it's I'm dissing you. That's literally the fucking name, disrespectful. I'm supposed to be at your neck. I'm not supposed to be pulling no punches. I'm not supposed to be leaving anything left in the clip, nigga. I'm supposed to unload every motherfucking time. You over here throwing jabs and trying to motherfucking get points. I'm trying to knock you out. I'm trying to kill you, nigga, every time. So like, why are we talking about? Why? 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 I do, but in 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 the, in the, like, I'm not gonna lie, but throughout this whole race, though, because the race at the top, it is crazy though that this nigga Drake is going against like six niggas at once. And I'm not, I know Kendrick is the main nigga. Now he ain't got to focus on nobody else. Because if y'all just listen to the recent one, he was talking about it's a Rocky still, Rick Ross still. I don't think Kendrick even and future. About the nigga. Oh, they got nothing to do with him. Like, he's yeah, like, he's just they're not helping me. They just happen. They to used him too, though. I mean, they used they, well. They ain't used him, but like they used each other. They out when they did that. Uh, what's it? Is it, is it, is it, is it, it neck, but I feel like, like regardless if like these that. niggas make records or not, I'm still about the. Hey, hey, he fucks on Drake. Yeah, yeah, Drake yeah. in his mind, like man, I'm still mad. Rick Ross dissed me. Uh, I'm still pissed. Um, they had the weekend singing and shit to me. Yeah. That nigga was singing before. Yeah. Serenade. I can't fly with you no more, Drake. You thought I was gonna say you, bro. So why every beef this nigga gain a child, bro? 
Yeah, that, yeah, that's just I mean, we gotta see proof of it. Like, bro, you ain't you ain't you ain't, ain't, you ain't, ain't, seen, ain't seen the proof. proof? You ain't seen the proof, bro. Well, we live in an age where everybody's a detective nowadays. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> people have found yes. So uh, people went back to about around 2012. Drake posted something. Oh, that's that's about 11 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Drake posted on his Twitter, "Baby girl." He deleted it since then, but it's just "Baby girl." There's a lot of theories, you know what I'm saying? He might have gotten the news that he was going to be a father to a girl, but then he deleted it type shit because he ain't want that to be in his image. But also people are saying that was around the same date of uh, Aaliyah's passing, and that was her nickname, and a lot of people called her Baby Girl. So that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I love Aaliyah. Aaliyah, he's got the shirt on. But um, I, I think Fuck that's a reach. Kelly, bitch. I think that's a reach, honestly. See this shit, nigga. I think that's a reach, honestly. But um, what was I saying? Got it. The little girl. Yes, they found this girl named Eternity or some shit on Instagram. She her her last post. She was ten years old. She was she just turned eleven type shit. She was in J Cole. She was in the background of J Cole's video. She was in the background of Lil Durk in that J Cole the uh all my life that shit. She was in that motherfucking video. And a lot of people are trying to say that you know she getting paid. She was a little Mexican girl. You know, she a little Mexican girl. So it's like. They said Drake had a little torta, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> had a little Mexican girl, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But uh, this is what I'm saying. He still ain't had a he ain't still ain't had no child. He still ain't hit no child yeah. with no I mean, black listen, woman. Man, like, you think if he had a child with a black woman, he'd had it? I feel like if he, yeah. I mean, future be having the fuck out his I kids. I feel like if he had a child with anyone, he'd had it. And it wasn't a le- legitimate relationship yeah. before he, he would have denied it. Like, say if he would have got with Rihanna and they had a kid. He would have said that. Yeah, he would have said that immediately. Yeah, yeah. But any any normal girl or whatever that didn't meet uh the public's maybe standard, or let's say she was a porn, because I, I guarantee you the reason he gave a dime. Hell yeah, nigga, she, she was a porn star. Hell yeah. Just let me ask y'all the question though. Too. How do y'all feel about the CLB cover at this point after hearing all of this? That shit oh, is oh, a little oh, sus, bro. It's just it's fucking all the emojis of the pregnant oh, pregnant the ladies. Oh. That's a little sus, bro. That's a little sus, bro. What what that nigga say? You lied about your son. You lied about your daughter, huh? You lied about all of them kids that they're hoping that you come. Like, what is he saying, bro? Like, what does he know? This nigga Kendrick is playing 4D chess in fucking space. I, with this I do nigga, know bro. this about Kendrick. I want a rap career from you for the next two, three years. This is this, and this is what always Drake fans always motherfucking say, bro. Clear, bro. This is what they That's always what say, bro. This is what they always say. Yeah, He's relevant now. Now he want to be the best rapper alive. He came out of nowhere. Bro, just continue to be here, though. Please don't disappear. Please. Before we go into that, back to one thing that uh, back to what we were just talking about with the Drake situation. He said something along the lines of, uh, I've been with white women, black women, and everything, and everything in between. Oh, no, he was talking about Kendrick. No, he was talking, He's talking about, about himself, Kendrick, but he was saying about yeah, himself. but he definitely talking about Kendrick too, though, because Kendrick loves him some white bitches. No, he, he don't. Mixed girl. Oh no, you a lie. He, when he cheated on no. his wife, bro, he was cheating. With, he said it in a song. He said that shit in a okay. No, what the he, fuck do you mean, bro? He really fucked the white hoes on the road. But he did he. On him. Did, did he have a kid with a white woman? Did he have a kid with a white woman? I can't blame. Did he have a kid with a white woman? Did he care to have a kid with a white woman? Did he have a kid with a white woman? I mean, I got you. no. But who did? Drake did. Fuck out of here, nigga. Yeah, man. White woman, probably another. Everything in between. <laughs> I, uh, listen, I love me some Latino. Let me come across a Chinese bitch. Let's say Bro, what are you talking about, John? Like, what are you fucking talking about? Like, <laughs> Let's say you're the biggest nigga in the world. Yeah. You think it's going to stop at once. What are you talking about? Kids or something? You kind of can't. You, you really shouldn't be having that many kids if you're big as hell. I mean, you can. Yeah. No way. I'm saying you yeah, slip can, but you know. Look at, look at, look at NLHR, uh, yeah, you gotta, NBA young boy. You got 15 he kids. He, you know how much you're going to have to split that that's estate up for them kids? And you know, that's a lot of motherfucking heads. Do you think you're only gonna slip up once if tons of baddies is throwing themselves at you twice, right? day? My point is, I'm pretty sure Drake slipped up more than just the dots. Which is impressive for real. For this long to only have so far that <laughs> one slip up. Y'all crazy. It's y'all. <laughs> Boy. You see the fucking mental gymnastics these I, niggas be I doing, know, bro? Know, <laughs> the mental gymnastics, bro? <laughs> 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 
It's almost like the Trump niggas. Like this, these, this nigga could kill somebody. Well, at least he kept the body. <laughs> <laughs> at least he a real nigga. At least he's a real nigga. At least he really do the shit he talk about. Now they can't talk about them not being a real nigga. Oh uh, shit! He call a body. Hey, fuck out of here, bro. I look, I fuck with Kendrick, but I listen. He do have short man yeah. complex a little bit. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. I'm all right. Sure now, now all right. Putting his hands on this girl. Yeah, five folks. I'm pretty sure. Let's go to the substance of of these diss tracks. Let's talk. Let's talk about what was spoken of. Uh, uh, what was spoken on? Okay. All right, right. Uh, family matters. What the biggest takeaway from that shit? Uh, uh, yeah. Genius. I got it. I got. It. I got. It. I got it on my phone. I got it on my phone. You know what I'm saying? Because I downloaded it. The fact that you know, I've always explained that I like that it's got a club feel to it that you. You can, you can, you ain't gotta lock, you can lock in, but you can let it talk, you know, you can let the music talk to you. And, and you. For sure, I like Drake's song because it, 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 it's, it's something that I can play in the, in the car, yeah. and it's something that I can like, damn, this is, you know what I'm saying, cut my brain off, and I can decide if you cut your brain off. But the thing is, when you're in a rap battle, is that what you want to do? No, no, okay, it's like a slippery slope. Because in a way, when when Tupac did hit him up, it was that's not a club. That's not a club. This you lie. No, it's not. That bitch bang. It bang, I'm but it's not because it's a club bang. song. What about Ether? That bitch bang, don't it? That bitch bang, don't it? That is not a fucking club that, song, that, nigga. That is that is not a club not song, club, nigga. So what about Jay Z shit? The takedown. That's clubby. a fucking blanger. But it ain't no motherfucking. No, it's not no club song, bro. Possibly be played. The only nigga that make. Fucking club this songs is Drake. Bro, Tupac shit was a club. That is not a fucking club song. I will we oh we let's and I think uh, we can ask all our parents. We can ask all our parents. We can ask all our parents right now if they was fucking playing hit them up in the fucking club in the uh, Ritz Camera and shit. was beefing, I believe, with somebody and he that's when he made suck it or not. Club Panker. I just found that out. That was a beef. That was a beef this song. But is they playing it? Is they find it out that there was a is well, they playing it? About the beef at the is time. they playing like, it because it's a beef song? It's because it's a diss song, bro, or because it's an actual amazing, banger? Bro. That nigga, it's amazing, bro. You heard that shit, Wayne? I get I've head never head heard in that shit. Oh, no, oh, I get head in the strangest places <laughs> to at the same time call it changing faces. I tell the bitch we ain't trading places to so stand back and step and and set my amazing graces. Hey, Taste and savory vanilla ice cream. She said, "Ooh, my favorite." Okay, let's go back oh, to Kendrick. Let's with? go back to Kendrick Wayne, and Drake. Right? Like a scarecrow. Look at what's a man. Oh, man. Wayne is just the goat. No, nigga. I was arguing with my uncle the other day about Wayne being a goat. Like, like, you uh, know. I, I told him he, he was just talking about that. Exactly. That's the problem. Exactly. Think about. Let's what talk about this. Nicki Minaj. She was getting her her whole. Everybody was getting on her because she thinks she the best and try to take every woman down. Think that they but low her. Drake the same way. Wayne was the best. They weren't. Yeah. They just became heir to an empire that's already built. Thousand So of course you're gonna have in your mind if this nigga's the best rapper alive and he telling me that I'm good and I'm great. Yeah. I'm better than all these niggas. And they all got. They both got the same. But Nikki actually got a point. But look though, she's but actually see, better than all those. You see her downfall though. True. She ain't been relevant. That's because her personality ain't really the greatest. Cause like she kind of, she kind of like a little, little, little loco a little bit though. A little bit, a little bit. Like, 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 like Drake, for real. Other than you fucking with his music, he lightweight as dick. He's a bully, bro. He's a he's an asshole. In a way, he definitely bullied party next door. That's a fact. If you got a girl that he like, I guarantee you he take. It's a possibility. But Trey Songz should try to fuck her too. Damn though. Do you want to fuck with a nigga like this? Yeah. Can you? Can I like? I couldn't even be cool with this nigga because I can't bring my bitch around this nigga. It's true. You can't. I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? It's not that. that it's not dude. that you don't trust your girl around this nigga. You don't trust that nigga around. That nigga said himself, "I cannot trust myself." With nobody. I cannot be alone with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because that nigga's a goddamn fucking nymphomaniac. Yeah, he's probably fucking... Once you get enough fame and you get enough badass Crazy bitches, you bitch can. You probably get That's addicted to taking steel. other niggas' exactly. bitches. But a lot of them niggas like taking niggas' bitches. That's that, that, I, but I that mean, okay, a lot of them but it ain't. But they but they do it to some That's not niggas. cool. He do this to celebrities. That ain't sure. cool. 
I mean, he's taking he's like, he's taking a he, fucking regular nigga bitch. He took a regular nigga bitch, but I'm saying most <laughs> artists take regular niggas bitches all the time. Drake just be so happy to take rapper niggas bitches and actor niggas. Bitches. Exactly, Ooh, and that's how you burn bridges, and, and that's that how you get a twenty v one. Yeah, he tripping. He tripping. Even though he got about a couple ghost riders, probably. All day. But my thing is, if you get all of this dirt, and then you know you made all of these enemies. Why, why, why are you continuing to add yeah. Because, <laughs> look, this yeah, nigga, this bastard. nigga has always said, he drop every year. He has to fucking stay relevant. He has to drop. I was just talking to this nigga that's behind the camera. Drake dropped an album almost for the past five years. This nigga dropped like an album every year. Past three years, it's been two albums. Right. So. So, so if you involved in a beef and you not known for going on a hiatus like Kendrick is known for, for and you don't respond to a motherfucker, if, if, if you stop, then you, you, you will look like a bitch. And then if you try to come back, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be like, oh, it ain't, it ain't, as, it ain't as lit. You got to keep your shit going. Now, if he actually, he got to keep going. He has to keep going. He has to keep going. He do, he do. Exactly. And exactly. That's the same as LeBron is long f- is is known for Soon being available and being, being loved. No, nobody want to see him come back. They want that to be the final farewell. Yeah, white people. I'm just they talking about the majority ass. of motherfuckers because it's like you ain't left for me. So what? What sent you out now? Did yeah. they push you out? Well, he old as fuck. Or did you know what I'm saying? So that's that's <laughs> where it was getting at. It's like did you did you leisurely walk out, or yeah. did they throw you out? A lo- no, a lot of niggas they do throw out though. I could give you a long list of niggas that's but if very Drake good. But take a hiatus right now, even if he leisurely walk out from his perspective, yeah, from the public's perspective, he gonna look like he got bitched. Now. Like yeah, yeah, but yeah. I don't think he, 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 he's going nowhere. Though. Look, bitches, bro. I don't care what y'all say. Oh my god, let's go back to the substance. This, gonna, this is going back to the substance right, of the fucking song, bro. You going back to the substance of the song? It's like bro. Chris Brown. They know he beat the fuck out of Rihanna ass. Beat. Her ass, but they ride for that nigga. <laughs> but listen, he bitches. Drake makes good music. Drake make good music, though. Drake and his team make good music. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Chris need a team, because when he had a team, listen, this nigga had a team when he was making that, uh, I just want to see you strip and that no bullshit. He had a team. I fucked with Drake before, and the pup, the bass even fucking know about this nigga. I wanted him to win. His but career just I was too long. Fraudulence. Yeah, his career was too long, and you got time to nigga. Nitpick. You you ain't never liked Drake for bro, real, bro. When he was first out of the Rossi and got signed with Wayne, I'm like, my nigga, Jim. He got signed with Wayne. Damn, that's he knew him from the Yeah, it, I he was knew him. When he mean. you the best. I'm sending that to girls. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sending them lists to the home. <laughs> so when did it change, bro? Because ever Cause since I've seen it, bro. I've yeah, seen he just he been around too long. I told you he been around. Drake been around too long for too a nigga long. to change their opinion on him. Not one high eight. Two thousand seven, two thousand eight, my nigga. It give niggas time to stop liking you, I guess. And it's that's 20, I, almost twenty fucking years, bro. Wiz Khalifa been doing the same shit for the same amount of time, maybe longer, bro. And Wiz ain't on no weird shit. I still have the yeah, same amount of motherfucking. Nigga. I mean, he, he's a regular he, ass nigga. He a t- nigga. And every how many he talk? He just be chill. I'm like, this nigga. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So it's like it's like you can't you can't do the whole you uh you you, you fucking a, a fan of a nigga for so long that you see him turn into an asshole. Because Wiz is still not a he's not a fucking asshole. That nigga's still a cool yeah, that ass can't nigga. Happen though, bro. That can't happen though. I used to like Patrick Mahomes. I'll punch that nigga right now. <laughs> His wife ugly as fuck. Damn, that bitch look like a person. Man. No, nah, but I'm just saying a shit. based on the situation. Wiz, he signed to Roster Records. He wasn't signed to under no big artists. It's just I'm signed to a record label that may be known, but I got to build my own image. Where Drake, on the other hand, signed to the greatest rapper of all time. And that nigga telling you, you good. Yeah, of course, you going to feel like I am him. Oh, yeah. He got, he got his head big. Look. Like from jump, from day one, his head was the biggest. Right. Him nice. and Nicki Minaj. That's why they be on. What song was on. it when Wayne was like, "And we gonna be all right if we put Drake on every track"? I don't remember. 
Just him said saying that. that. I got money, money to blow. That yeah, was, that was a tell grip ago. The greatest rapper alive, tell, say something like that about me. <laughs> of course, I'm like, oh, I'm shitting on all these niggas. He was right though. When they put Drake on that track, bro, like, that's just because we. That's the time. But, that's that's time. because, that's the time. but it's because of the chorus or whatever. Like we, I get it. You know what I'm saying? We always sing along to him or whatever. What Drake saying the family matters something about. Uh, he said he something like about that, like yeah, yeah. we ain't gonna hear him in the club or nothing like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, bro, at the end of the day, we don't give a fuck about none of that shit. We really don't get only Kendrick said only five percent gonna comprehend and nine to five percent gonna be lost because he knows that a bunch of motherfuckers, more a majority of motherfuckers, ain't gonna really listen. To the substance, they only gonna be listening to the surface level, only the superficial shit. That's why this Drake shit is so catchy. That's why it sounds so good. That's why you want to keep fucking listening to it and play it on the on, on, when you fucking driving and in the club. Yeah, but yeah. this Kendrick shit is actually pulling on niggas' heartstrings. I see motherfuckers say that shit is scary. That shit is ominous. The fucking beat. That fucking the fucking three keynotes. I was that just, shit sound I was like Michael Myers say, is no, walking down. Say, can we all? Shit. Can we admit? Can we? Can we do a beat vote? Drinks had the best beats. No, he didn't. Oh, it's crazy. No, he, he didn't, bro. Most, uh, he had the most I pop beats. beats. Exactly. He had the yeah, most. He had. The, he had the most popular listenable beats, bro. They're very listenable. But if you really, I'm talking about into music in depth, yeah. to where you understand, pick out notes and. And understand how that correlates to just just everyday life and shit. Yeah, bro, yeah. That shit, nigga. Hits, I cannot, I cannot hear the beat from Family Matters. Right, all three of them. It was three fucking beats. I can't hear none of them right now. But that fucking dun 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 dun. dun that shit is going on in my head right now. I can hear that. shit is the most memorable shit. And the way he's riding that shit and that, bro, once it gets to the end, we say, you lied about your son. You lied about that shit actually sound like his spirits talking to this nigga, bro. It fucking, it, it make me scared. It make me scared. I can already tell what to do with Drake. I'm gonna I'm, I'm tell you like this. And you can't hit the my sound, <laughs> The sound of Drake's song, it sounds like some shit that we are trying to make. Yeah, I said I wish. But when yeah. when you get into that Kendrick shit, that's like another level of. I want to layer this a little more. Beat them, they gotta go into the shit that I'm saying. I'm saying some shit that's killing this nigga career. So this beat seems ominous no. to where it's like it's like a, you waiting on death. You know what I'm True. saying? True. I would like to want to say one thing though. When he was doing that, I now okay. I know he was going off and when DMX said, I hate the way you dress, I hate the way you talk and shit. DMX actually came back on Breakfast Club and said the complete opposite. And he said, I fuck with this nigga. He called me. He Who the good. fuck cares what DMX says? Oh, don't do not do that to DMX. Who the fuck DMX cares? Is very Who the fuck cares? Very musically gifted. Who the, who the fuck cares? Very. He's so like crazy. That, that's it's fine. Kind of, like, who the fuck cares? Nuts. Who the, who the fuck cares? Drugs just effectively got him because the government put drugs in our hoods on purpose to make sure our people got on. You crack. know who talks about that, Kendrick? But Drake doesn't. Hey, he's, he's yeah. Then yeah. growing yeah. in the hood. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You gotta understand, Drake's like, he's got crack in Canada. In life, he wasn't with his dad most of the time, so most of his yeah. life, this nigga was an actor as a kid. He was. He when was. He was in high school. And then in, in, in junior high, this nigga was acting. So he was getting some money. Yeah, he, he had a smooth ass upbringing. He was living with a white mom. This nigga's mom is Jewish. He I'm lived kidding. in a Jewish community. He went to a Jewish school. He had a bat mitzvah in a fucking Italian restaurant. Yeah. This nigga is Jewish, bro. This nigga ain't talk about fucking being from Memphis or his fucking family from Memphis now, until like YouTuber. 2012, bro. I fuck with the Jews. Look, I don't got nothing against. I ain't talking, but I'm just saying. We like the upbringing was completely different. Yeah, you absolutely. Know it, you know it, even if you in poverty, you having a uh, uh, living with a white mom versus a black mom. Yeah, it's completely, it's completely different. different. It's, like, nah, it's completely different. Completely different. And I understand that might be a little controversial to people out there. Like, it oh, shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, it's bro. Completely different. It shouldn't be. Completely we all know racism and all that shit is a fucking real thing. Very cool every Your time I see. Just throw that out there. Can have you go through different things in life. 
Oh yeah, yeah, facts. Your, facts just facts. down to your skin tone. I'm glad he don't act like Doja Cat mixing this though. I'm just she saying like how they can all play a part into <coughs> these ego mindsets and, and they and how they are. This nigga talk about slaves too much, bro. Who do Drake? <coughs> what do you say? You always rapping like you're trying to free the slaves. And then in that uh in that slime you out, that nigga said whipped and changed you like American Slayer. Oh, what the fuck you get like you have no damn near no relation to that shit, bro. Hey man. Uh I ain't like that. Jack Harlow was talking about whips and chains. Fuck that nigga too, bro. <laughs> what is we talking about, bro? What is we talking about? Go back to the substance, bro. Everything in Drake's fucking this, both of them, push ups and motherfucking. This nigga said that Kendrick is short. This nigga funny. said he he. Funny. This nigga said he got more money than him. I think he does. Two things that's damn near obvious. Shit. No shit, no shit, bro. This nigga talked about him cheating on his wife and allegedly hitting his wife. Two things that Kendrick already talked about in his fucking album. If you listen to it, nigga. If you listen to them shits, nigga, which I know the Drake fans didn't. No, hey, and now I will say this though: is is Kendrick kids a little lighter, bro? His fucking wife's mixed. What? It doesn't matter if they lighter or not. You can't be ashamed that your kids look light. Though. He ain't fucking ashamed, bro. He t- but he was talking to when he said Adonis, you're a black man. Adonis is not black. If you look at him, but he's got black in him. And cool this nigga kid. Kendrick is fucking cool telling him. He's telling him, don't be afraid of your heritage like your fucking father, bro. He said, don't only use that shit to fucking get a bolster. Don't use it when it's an advantage to yourself. Don't code switch. That's what he's telling this nigga. It's a difference. Bro, that nigga Adonis probably got like an lie. eighth of black in him, bro. But he's still he's still black. If I could code switch, bro, I would. Why are you trying to be funny, nigga? Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Listen, if I can get some advantages. I what you I mean, Cole? You cold switch all the time, John. You you just probably don't know it. When you go drop off, when you go drop off the wine and shit, it's you not be like my voice. No, yes, nigga, I that's cold switching. That's cold switching, bro. You don't talk like this kind of to the motherfuckers. Voice. You you don't talk like this, like you talking. I'm kind of. This is kind of how I talk. No, bro. you don't, bro. You ain't never heard me, bro. I, I've been on the phone with you. You be like, okay, have a nice day. No, you don't, I, nigga. I'm yes, the light, bro. You I do. Just need a light, bro. Here, here. That don't light. matter, bro. That's you are, bro, when I'm John, smiling and John, talking. About you're cold switching, and bro. It, and only when it's like old women, I'm like that, nigga. You old white women. To old, no, old any woman, nigga. Even if it ain't any old lady. lady. Let's just say it's not just you. The majority of uh, motherfuckers cold switch That's, when bro. they're going to talking to like white folks or in the business. Uh, any setting. professional setting, I, niggas I have to cold to some, switch. I did that to some uh, some professional niggas though, bro. So it ain't, ain't, it ain't no like, white thing. Bro, you ain't you saying like, nigga around no professional like, motherfuckers, bro. You ain't yeah, talking. Ain't no, like, you ain't using e- exact, exactly. Exactly. I haven't even said nigga. Don't learn this for real. Exactly, bro. I'm saying. I'm saying. Most black people, when they go anywhere, they have to code switch. Anywhere that we that is. Pr- yes, they do, bro. Nah. Or they gonna Are they gonna be looked at like fucking they ignorant? When you ever you ever go into Walgreens or some shit or somewhere and some niggas start fucking going crazy belligerent. Fuck all that nigga. Well, we gotta go crazy and belligerent. I'm just saying we could be just I'm chill just, and be ourselves. We don't gotta John, switch though. We don't. John, I'm I'm just saying. Have oh, you ever dude. seen that? And you'd be like, damn, them niggas ignorant as fuck. I mean, and some niggas cannot control exactly. Niggas. And, and if you thinking that, what the fuck you think white people think? Or any other fucking race, they are gonna be like, oh, they're gonna niggas niggas again. Man, uh, that's why a I'm a Mexican can do some crazy shit. Listen, being you ever you ever heard a white person say, "Oh, you're well spoken"? Nah, I never heard of that. Exactly, bro. Because they know because because niggas are come around well well knowing niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like us, we'll fuck around, have to code switch when we go to game master or some shit. Never code switched. Yes, the fuck you did, John. Oh my lord. Yes, you did, John. Oh my, I know I did. I know. I mean, you kind of already got the borderline speech. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already talk very calm. You, bro, I you wasn't that since like, I was a kid. That That's just yeah, one I'm not a good example. The majority motherfuckers is probably gonna be in that motherfucking code switch. I'm gonna be honest. You have to code switch. That's how we. That's how we survive. And I know you see it. You oh. ain't gonna get hired, right. bro. Every. I've been myself in interviews, you but myself is. 
chill, you. calm nigga. For John, me. John, we've all been to fucking interviews. We've all been to interviews. And we do not speak how like we speak to each other, bro. That is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. Niggas speak. Niggas speak with slang. Niggas speak with mannerisms. You were sitting there like this. Yes, my name is John Fields, and uh, (laughs) I like the nigga. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Fucking lying. (laughs) Fucking lying, bro. Right. Right. I've seen this nigga on TV on commercials. Yeah, that nigga was doing that shit. Code switching. Uh, Code switching. No, the fuck you not, John. Where you from? Where the fuck you from? A bunch of neighborhoods in Cincinnati. Cincinnati well, is a fucking poverty ridden ass fucking city, nigga. Grew up extremely poor. Exactly. Like, ramen noodles was a gourmet meal. Exactly. And then I was like sick. You sound like Kendrick Lamar. You sound like the upbringing Kendrick had. A real black person. Somebody a real black person. Rap about types of life, like stuff that you've been through, and then they banking off of that, and they ain't never been through that. That don't that don't rub you the wrong way. I mean. Listen, I don't think I ain't heard Drake. If they do it, if they do it good enough, he's never. No, he's never <laughs> rapped about a rough. rough. Yes, the f- started from the bottom. Now I'm here. No, Where the no, fuck no. is the bottom? Okay, it's like Jewish no, neighborhoods is the bottom. Yeah, now, hey, you about I, to let me flip this motherfucking sort, table, John? Sort of a point right there. Sort of a point there, but he <laughs> wasn't emphasizing that he was like bottom bottoms. But he was just bro, like, that whole like, song is about. Bro, it what was you... really for other people. It wasn't for him. It was for other people to go say they start from the bottom now they're here. He just wanted to be catchy so it upbreak oh, others. I'm Working gonna... all night, traffic on the way home, and my mama calling me so like, where you at? I'm going to relate to that. I, I, like I gave you the keys, nigga. Bring it right back. Who the fuck getting borrowed cars? Niggas ain't getting borrowed cars. Motherfuckers' mamas is on the bus line. Niggas ain't getting no motherfucking keys to no... To do no to do anything to it's nonetheless go fucking on a acting set on a movie set and act and make sixty thousand dollars a year while you motherfucking under eighteen. Stop fucking playing yeah, with me, bro. Lie. But he got a cool little career to go from a little TV show to a rapper and be successful though. Man, it is but what it is. I literally watched that whole show it's like Ravis with Mom. my sister, like not just like little parts where Drake was in. I, I, I legit, legit before I knew like your Drake sister was, was into the Degrassi and she kind of pulled you into watching it with her. Type the shit. whole thing. Yeah, I can see 90% that. Ninety percent white people. Facts. No, fa- no facts. Probably more than that. My point is, if show. he was a dark skinned man, do you think he would have like nine times out of ten got that shit? He could have got the role, no. He could have black people, dark people. He could have got the role, man. Like, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. percent white people on the show. Facts. I didn't watch the show. The only black motherfuckers was damn near mixed. White what people I ain't, are very what I ain't like of the fair of skins. I ain't like that. This nigga basically, for him to prove a point, he basically went fed. This nigga talking about you ain't got a real. If you had a set, you you should you deserve a DP. Talking about civilian life, you PC. You know who really bang a set? YG. You know who really bang a set? CB. Hope the cops listen. You know who really bang a set? Chuck T. Why the fuck is you snitching on niggas, bro? For you to for, for you to prove a point, you snitching on niggas, bro. Stop playing, bro. Like now you going fair, bro. So you can so you can prove that Kendrick Lamar, who is really a motherfucking blood, like he's really a fucking blood, like real life shit. <laughs> you gonna really, like, you really over here trying to trying to I mean, play fucking just, semantics and shit, bro? Because this nigga ain't doing that pool shit no more. Whatever, he can pick a pool, man. For real, you know. I'm just happy they. You gonna incarcerate me on that? <laughs> I don't think they. Yeah, they can't incarcerate me on that. I mean, they can. I think they in my direction. I think they done with arresting us, our rappers, man. Cap, what are you That's talking nice. about, John? I, I knew that, you gonna react like that. It's that, 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 bro. Yeah. This nigga might be Drake for real in blackface. Nah, listen. They need to let they need to let Young Thug out of jail. Like SpongeBob, the All gorilla Patrick bad. was in the gorilla suit. <laughs> they should let Young Thug out though, man, because a lot of people should be in jail instead of Young Thug. Hey, you wild as young you Thug know, is very I talented. Lie to you, if that was a white dude, we would not be saying that. Well, Young Thug, the man has white dude. He was doing what Young Thug did. Man, Young Thug that. ain't really, really like. Okay, mind you, he probably had niggas around him, and he probably was like, "This is the problem with niggas, bro." 
Bro, come on, though, bro. He don't deserve to be in no prison for That's no the problem 15 with 20 years, though, bro. Come Kodak would still be in jail right now if Trump ain't pardoned him. Right. Lil Wayne probably would, too. Nah, what the fuck? Lil Wayne never really do nothing but have guns on but he had, but, but he got pardoned. But he got pardoned. And this yeah. was, what, three, four years ago. Yeah. That nigga would still be jail in jail right now, damn near. Well, Kodak, 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 yeah, Kodak was in jail. Bro, both of them niggas, damn near, bro. They, or they'll still be fighting some shit. You, you see, say Trump I'm saying, I'm saying, saying white, him? bro. I'm saying that's a fucking. They know that's a a, a shit that niggas are fucking. If them, if Biden up. was to fucking free Young Thug today, oh my god, that nigga would get overwhelming oh. votes bro, in November. If he free Thug, I might, right. I might, what? I might go right. go like two states and do a speech for him. They free slug. What? That's real shit. I don't give a fuck about he none of the infrastructure. Shit, I don't shit. give a fuck about none of Ukraine. He, he, he might win, bro. Black people will unite, low key. Black people are influential, but we are very easily swayed. How exactly, we bro. Are, how the fuck we influential as fuck, but we get swayed easy as hell. Okay, time out. What's the because easiest way to are... sway us? No, what's the easiest way to sway us? Money. Yeah. Oh, what the other answer too? Damn, what you gonna say, money? I they get us so easily with what? money. That's just bruh, so a, month, a bunch of people from my job. I ain't gonna say where I work at. A bunch of motherfuckers from my job, bro. That all they say is, "I have more money when Trump was in office." <laughs> That's all they motherfucking say, bro. It's so easy to get us with bro, the money. Dumb as hell. You, you, if you say something on Instagram like this, nigga dumb as hell. But you ain't got more money than him, bro. Right? What the fuck do <laughs> I gotta do with anything? Right? I could be a fucking oil baron. I could, I could have like, you know, what I'm saying, like, what are you talking yeah. about? Who cares about the money? That's what. The, let's go back to the Drake shit. Who cares about how much money you have, nigga? You're Jewish. <laughs> like, of course you have a lot of money. You're half Jewish. Yeah, like, link with that Jewish shit though. You are a fucking actor at junior high age. And then you got Wayne to co-sign you, and you've never you stopped you fucking you rapping it. ever since then. You talking about splits? I bet. When you fucking get your check, nigga, I better look like niggas sitting oh, yeah. at the uh, Applebee's table with ten niggas know, trying to figure out who exactly for who know, fucking paying for the bill, bro. Now. I don't know about now. He ain't, he ain't get too much split it up now, though. I ain't gonna catch bro, you know he, out of he gotta be, bro. Deals. He he had to. That's why he had to. That's why he had to drop ten fucking albums. Yeah, he had to get it out of young he money got shit. All of that shit now. He get all his residuals. That's why that nigga rich as fuck. He got a he, he got an Apple. He's got an Apple Music and contract. Apple deal. Yeah, that so Ooh, Apple's shit. probably that getting. Like, that's, I don't know. Nigga, that's literally like a Hooper getting a Nike contract off of Hoop outside of his Hoop. That should be very beneficial. They be getting Look, paid. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Drake had a like his run. He had a good run. Crazy. He had a good run, but it's been doing his everything. Is over. Everything. That's, what, oh, look, look, right, that's what happens with an actor. You can act a part for so long. That's what he's been doing, kind of. But in a way, it sort of, in, yeah, he's definitely kind of in a way acting. But he is black, so it's like, I mean, he I loves being around black people do. all the time. He get, all the niggas is black niggas. I don't think he's trying to fake no No, all his niggas. Now, doing what no, doing. I ain't. Uh, 40 ain't. Just Oliver ain't. You need to, he need to acknowledge it, that he acted. Like, we all know you act. This is not you. Yeah, I mean, I respect it because you were actor at heart. That's cool. But now you acknowledge it. They ain't not no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know I wouldn't. Get this. If I'm at the top, if I was trying to get to the top, I would. I would oh, shit, bro. Drake okay. drop. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, no, say we go. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Entertaining as fuck. We would have played that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, hey, man. I like the nigga music, man. I, I wish, listen, I wish more niggas made music so he don't have to be the nigga at the top. I, I've said this seven years ago. I remember seven years ago, I was driving the railroad, and I was like, man, I hope one day can I explain Jim this. Cole come take, take this nigga throne because he is too damn popular. Too we damn talked about strong. this already, bro. We That's talked saying, about this. I, I've always had to talk about this, and I'm like, bro. Take this nigga crown. It's been too long. For it this doesn't. Nigga you talk. don't. You don't have to be super consistent to have a fucking crown, bro. Let's relate this to video games. I already told you about this shit, nigga. Rockstar ain't released a fucking game since 2018. That was Red Dead Redemption Two. If anybody out here are fucking video game fans, they GTA Five came out in 2013. 
GTA 6 might not come out till 2026. That's 13 years. These niggas, Rockstar is still held, regarded as the best video game developers ever, bro. They games always go crazy every time they drop. Don't, don't matter if it took 10 years, don't matter if it took fucking 20 years. They also this have is, been around since like it, 99 shit like that. Doesn't fucking matter, bro. The OGs. Kendrick been here fucking. Kendrick been making songs since he was sixteen. This nigga's like thirty eight. So, so the fact that the the whole argument that ain't shit, bro. He has a fucking album that has a Pulitzer Prize. He has albums and music that is studied in Harvard and in, in, in universities. That he's still alive. That's some shit that Mozart and Shakespeare shit got going on. DJ fucking Funkmaster Flex and shit. Nigga DJ Jazzy Jeff and all that fucking shit. All them niggas getting their shit studied. That's retroactive. This nigga is alive and is still being studied. Still making I, music. I would like to say they are also studying Sweetie's music. Who? In USC. Who? Sweetie. They studying it where? <laughs> USC. Not in fucking Harvard. <laughs> Who the fuck? Ain't no fucking body stuff. Trash. Hey, why are we good. even, bro? What is we? What is this nigga talking about? I just, I just wanted to say that she was trash. Just want to throw that out there. That bitch is trash as fuck, bro. And I only say that because I was earlier. I was gonna bring up why sexy red is, is so wholesome and, and great. Why the fuck is this nigga using sexy red's verse on his shit? Because he said. He liked the thing with sexy red. Exactly. Like, That's not here. making you fucking look better. Why are you using sexy red's verse? He just fuck with her though. Sexy red is really fuck with her, dog. She was just performing at a country on on a stage at a country show with country people, bro. That shit was wholesome as fuck. I've never seen wholesome. no female. It it, it 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 look. It was because she could vibe with anybody, and it's like, damn, she marketable everywhere. This bitch a superstar. It's kind of what I got from it. Okay. That's what I got from it. You have to see it to see where I'm going with it. Because, like, she she was out of place. It was like, what the fuck? But she never thought that. Because she just said, nigga, like, she just, it was like, hey, sexy. Yeah. What's that got to do with Drake? We got nothing to do with Drake, actually. I just, I fuck with sexy red. Yeah, one of those guys that like to get other people to fuck with her. Just, come on, man. You love You <laughs> Hey man, this is our comedy for the podcast. Gosh, I'm like a comedy. This nigga, this know, nigga trying to know, be too funny. He bro. know I'm not keeping you serious for too long. Fuck the police though. But yeah, I mean, listen, this is the longest episode. I know this is about 38 minutes. Gotta be tough, but uh, at the end of the day, Kendrick so, winning. All right, we ain't gonna be biased. Drake came out with some heat. That was some actual heat. Kendrick winning. <laughs> agree? Uh, I ain't agree with that. Kendrick, I said it's tied. I say it's tied, nah, say it's nah, tied nah, again. I, two, I'm two. Be completely honest, though. If I'm those sorry. allegations in the song is true, on either side, it's, it's, but mainly on Drake's nah, side. Nah, nah, nah. On Kendrick's side, it's GG. Listen, it's GG. If Kendrick's telling the truth and Drake's lying, Drake lost. If Kendrick's telling the truth. And Drake's telling the truth, Drake lost. If Kendrick's lying and Drake's telling the truth, Drake lost. That just one saying. didn't make sense. I'm just saying. I was waiting on him to say that one, and that one didn't make sense. I'm just saying. So uh, this nigga lying, he can tell the truth, and Drake still lost. I'm that just fucked up. Now that is some colors and I'm shit. Just and I don't even fuck with the mixes. I'm, I'm kidding, like but I'm just saying. saying. I feel like the only reason for the last one is just off of pure, like, I ain't trying to make songs that's going like uh, the public going like, yeah, this is like a hit, yeah. It's just more of like, I'm getting down to pure rap. Lyricism, fuck what you talking about. For real, for real, I don't even need a motherfucking beat for real. Yeah. But you can throw a beat on this bitch if you want to. I'm about to talk to this nigga. See, I don't know what it's, it's the kind of vibe I'm getting from every one of this nigga's diss tracks. At least one of them be. I feel like he just need to. Can the getting next getting one at least be a hit? The first one was a hit. The first one is still number one. Look at it from what, like that. Yes, still number one. All right, that's because Metro of drum be making gas was involved, and he only know how to make a good little song. Taylor too. Swift and Beyonce took over for like uh, two seconds, and then it still came back to number one, bro. So what are you talking about? 
I mean, I'm just saying, now that one was a good one, but that was just his shit, though. Oh, him to make a song that's as sketchy as like that. Kenny, bro, one time, please, bro, your art. Please. But look, though, but look, I get though, that you was though, being though. intellectual, but please, bro. Goddamn. If, 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 we, if we dissing, and I'm trying to really, like, I got to talk to you, though. Like, Wait, damn, but this, this is the fifth this track. Drake never battle rap. It's the third one. He's an actor rap. This Fourth. is a new genre of rap. Like, Drake yeah. is a goat. Because he created a new genre of uh, rap. This is actor rap. rap. Oh. Actor rap. That's what oh, I'm <laughs> Kendrick got actual <laughs> videos on YouTube of him battle rapping, nigga. So he got that, 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 that he culture. He do. He do. This is battle rap. I'm talking to you. You a little boy right now. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. all remember. Like, like, let's say we put Kendrick and fucking Drake in a room. And they got to rap at each other. Who's coming out winning? Bro, if you say some from shit Compton. like shit, that ass with Jay Free, that sounds, that's some bullshit in the battle. And on like, some real shit, shit, Drake is not really, really, like, he is a rap. He Technically, he's a rapper. Rap. Bro, bro he's a new genre. The he, fact that he, he do lit. all kinds of little shit, though, sitting and singing shit, he lit, it right? kind of take, take him from being a This nigga's rap. a chameleon, bro. Kendrick be chameleon. singing. Nigga's a Kendrick been singing in his shit he because he ain't a singer. singer. I don't like it. He ain't a singer. Yeah, stop doing that shit. <laughs> I don't like when he be trying to sound like a little Drake yeah, chameleon, yeah, yeah. bro. He sound like a little teenager or some he, shit. Like, I don't like. He that do that on purpose. Weird. He do that on purpose so because a lot of his songs he try to transport you to back when he was young. So he's trying to put you in the perspective of when he was younger. So they play with his voice. You know what I'm saying? Frank Ocean do the same thing. Like actual. Intellectual, actual, like you know, what I'm saying, artists that try to make you immersed in the music. Well, they both need to go go take an OGT test real quick. See they scores. I bet you they smarter than Drake. Bro, I'm trying to. Say, I feel like Drake, but I ain't gonna lie to you when I be hearing Drake shit. That shit hard. That shit the hard. shit was hard as fuck, bro. When I listened to Family Matters, I was like, hey, this shit hard. He had three oh, switches. Man. He had three switches, like, bro. Then nigga in that Taylor May freestyle, that nigga said, you better come with three switches and da-da-da. And Euphoria had three beat switches. You know what I'm saying? He did the same thing in this uh, Family Matters. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's cool. I feel like now is, is his songs, though, now. I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. What you mean? Because like, cause they keep going back and forth. Now, this one, what the fuck? If a nigga talk to me like that, but it's beyond rap. Uh, well... That's we got a, Drake ain't got me got a box. Really in him for real. His money can exactly, that. nigga. He not from the hood. We exactly, all nigga. Exactly, He's nigga. Exactly, nigga. He the He's fucking gonna, is. Have he ever say he had a shooter? If you ever say, you but had a he shooter, look, you trying to portray something? If you, dude, if you got money, you should have a shooter, though, bro. Come on, bro. No, you, you fucking shouldn't. Security. Exactly. I mean, you might need it, nigga. You got security. Some that of these niggas protect you. Let's Diddy, see if listen, Trubs really Diddy crash done, some. Listen, Diddy done killed like five people, bro. You ain't just got he ain't kill him himself. Nigga that just a no, 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 no. He, he, I think he, he, he did actually kill one. His baby mama. All the other people he hired to get killed, but that Ooh. nigga Diddy kills people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he yeah. kills people. Like he he kills yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Like legit. I mean, Jay Z be on the same shit as Diddy. And you, yeah. and you, and you <laughs> no, me? no, no, what are you fuck about? no. He killed for no reasons. His yeah. reasons don't be no. It ain't necessary. It's, he you, evil. You fuck. Me. Exactly, you bro. Why the fuck would I kill you just because? Diddy is that evil, nigga? No, it's bro, no, the fuck he's not, I mean, bro. Nah, nigga, it don't be solid reasons. But it'd be a reason why I'm killing you, bro. It's, it's, it, it could be a little reason, but it's nine times out of ten you're opposing me. You didn't either do what I said. You even didn't look how I wanted you to. That is evil, though, bro. Because it's like, goddamn. You something wrong to me. Yes, it's evil. But it's just, <laughs> you're opposing me. I got a billion dollars. I, I know, but goddamn, man. Oh, he got to quit killing people, Shut man. Up. <laughs> that's what he said. Shut up. <laughs> he and then when he say something bad, he got killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. what? That's not valid. But that's some mafia shit. That's some mafia, mafia shit. Mafia? But now think about how Drake feels. He grew up with money too a little bit. Did he? Think about how Drake feels. And then what Kendrick say in the song. This is another thing we got to speak on. You put that money in the streets, but then get back no receipts. You put money in the streets. I'm thinking XX Tentacion. 
Oh, nah, I ain't killing none of these niggas. It could be. It could not be. Cause they you little beef was light. They beef was light. You put money in the streets. Them niggas ain't. X was dragging that nigga's name through the fucking it mud, wasn't that bro. Serious, Dra- X was dragging. I don't think it got that it just was saying. He it in the bud early, but I feel like he definitely had to make it to get that. that shit. But what the fuck did X say? And he had a live. He said, "If I die, just know Drake did it." <laughs> and that was like a year before he died. Nigga. Was don't like, give a f- give a fuck, nigga. Was it like, what the fuck? If I went what? to the cops, if I went to the cops and said. I fear for my life. I think this nigga John gonna kill me. If I die, it's this nigga John. And a year later, I die. You should fucking arrest this nigga. That's what I'm telling you. What? First off, X was being random as fuck, bro. He always did. Bro, he had beef with that nigga, bro. Yeah, but. Bro, I feel like he looked at him as like, damn, the way his trajectory of his career is going. And he was. Bro, he was fucking at his neck. And I think that would have been just willing competition. And he was at his neck as a young ass nigga. And think about the niggas. Think about the niggas who uh, who got (laughs) who went down for killing him. Think about the shit that the dude said. Oh, we got five thousand dollars. But I don't really think they did it for the money, bro. Listen, man, it was some bum ass Florida niggas, man. Uh, I did some bum ass. What that nigga say? What that nigga say? And uh, uh, he said, uh, SMS, triple X. That's the only time I ever aim below the neck. Why the fuck you shooting if you know that nigga dead? That's the type of shit that nigga. What, bro? Come on, bro. He get bruh. bored and he be tripping sometimes, if you ask me. He get bored and he be tripping. But this nigga I ain't making this use, but he's, he's he foul. Good music. Look, he's right. an actor. He is an actor. New genre already set to the side. This is true. He made great music, but I'm trying to tell you, he blinding us with the great music with this. But he doing some foul shit. Yeah. Some diddy shit. But you oh, I don't know if it's that level. Uh, uh, nigga did it terrible. Influence from the greats. He trying to be like the greats, and all the greats been going down. His name been good for like 15 years to yeah, about. Bro. Well, I want to say 15, like 12 years until of recent. Name nah, his name ever been good to me. Mm. Bro, ever since Tupac got killed, I think everybody been thinking that he did that shit. Something they been always off about, about that time, nigga. The same way we think that Drake doing the stuff that Kendrick said. When Diddy did Tupac. making a band, I knew something was wrong with him. That's how he was. They, they almost always had proof for Diddy low key. They had, for certain shit like that, him shooting that girl in the club. And blaming it on his nigga Sheen, and then the girl was always saying, "No, I saw Diddy pull the gun out, and that's like, that's he the one that shot me." And now they finally both admitting like the, the Sheen nigga is finally like, "Oh yeah, nah, yeah, that wasn't me." I ain't gonna lie, boy. Diddy legit shot a girl in the club yeah, in the face. Oh, it is. I don't know how the fuck he got away with that because they that shit so they said other people even seen him do it. Yeah. The hell nah, bro. The I shot hell. Shorty. Hell, bro. He legit did it. It was Fuck him. No, bro. How you take it? You you saying you saying the amount of money these niggas get changed their fucking perception of reality, bro. I think just Diddy though. Diddy is he turned yeah, evil immediately. Niggas, though, nah, that like, nigga different. Niggas that nigga else. different. I, I, I really believe that. But that's bro, yeah, you gotta that happens. Bro. You gotta understand. These Certain folks niggas. Are the same folks that come from the same lifestyle that we live. You have been at, at a point where it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, I got all of this. Diddy, I'm pretty sure he was probably, if not at a billion, close to it. Oh, yeah. Because um, I listened to a podcast. He had that, he had that, uh, was it Fat one or was it Baby Fun? No, uh, Sean John. Sean John, right. Sean John. Yeah, yeah that shit. shit. He, he was in the force. Ass, nigga. He was in the force for that shit. I think yeah, 30 on the 30 for that shit. Yeah, the jazz nigga was successful with that shit. And then, let's say he, because you got Kingpin that's probably making hundreds of thousands that might have touched a couple million that's getting hits for folks just in the hood. You making billions. But a lot of people don't be like like that. But look though, if I got somebody hit and and that was early, I'm pretty sure he done did that early in his career. Damn, I got away with that? Oh, for sure. Nigga, he for sure, for sure, that happened for Diddy. For sure. Now imagine, you Drake. You done came up. 
You was the you was the nerd ass nigga. You was a nerd Jewish ass nigga Everybody that probably played. was not getting no yeah. bitches your whole life as a young ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? And now you got a fucking little Wayne cosign. You around all these cool ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? All the bitches love you. Even even motherfuckers that are a fucking ambiguous ass age. You gonna you 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 gonna take advantage of that shit, am I right? You gon' motherfucking do it. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. You that motherfucker, I mean, nigga. Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of motherfuckers would do that shit, bro. Ain't nobody exactly. telling you no. What are you talking about? The uh, get niggas walking off. I'm just saying anything. The underage girl shit, bro. Whatever you want, bro. At that yeah. point, at that yeah. Point, the whole what traffic and shit. Yeah. Baka not nice. This is this is niggas. One of niggas' Snoop. right hands, man. He is literally mm-hmm. fucking fighting prostitution and sex trafficking charges. A nigga in your circle. This is what Kendrick is talking about, bro. He has fucking child molesters and shit on his payroll. Nigga in his proximity. And you think that all of these Sometimes niggas, like a know. P. Diddy and all these people in high places that got all of these uh, uh, connections to like trafficking and doing all of that, they don't cut. He is looking up to all of these motherfuckers when he first coming in the game. And then they tell him like, yeah, you can get to our point. You do some of this stuff, and just let or, or let some of this stuff yeah, slide. Yeah, yeah. But you think he ain't know about that? But Drake is not stupid. Oh, he talking about all the mother. I mean, Drake's not listen, stupid. I'm pretty sure he's been around all these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, 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 if Baka was on some shit using using the embassy to fuck if Drake mentioned, if he was like using that shit as some type of tra- trafficking fucking headquarters or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Bro, yeah, he's not allowed to. I'm saying though, and then and then Drake had that fucking uh his, his leak his, his the fucking his leak came out. Probably was a, probably a nigga in the group that ain't getting paid that much. You I'm know, saying, it's easy no, to get a or, leak, or or he leaked it himself so it can push the agenda. So all these so he can attract more of these fucking women of all ages. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like.